The Indian Air Force chief has said that the Indian Air Force has no plan to operate any foreign-made fifth-generation fighter jet or procure 36 more Rafale fighter jets from France. The Indian Air Force is concentrating on getting the indigenous advanced medium combat aircraft and will go ahead with 114 medium multi-role combat fighter jets under the MMRCA tender and have also prioritized the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets order. He also said that the Indian Air Force has started the process of getting the acceptance of necessity from the Defence Ministry, after finalising the air staff quality requirements for the MMRCA programme. He also said that the Indian Air Force will order 12 more Su-30 fighter jets, and have also decided against procuring 38 more Pilatus PC-7 Mark III trainers from Switzerland, and will instead go in for the indigenous HTT-40 basic trainer aircraft. According to latest media reports, the indigenously developed ACE radar will be ready for integration and trials within the next one year, but Hindustan Aeronautics is still sticking with the Israeli ACE radar system for the 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, which will be supplied for integration in 2021. The Tejas Mark 1A will get the advanced version of the ELM 2052, which has a bigger antenna size along with an additional power supply option. According to latest reports, the Indian Army has started to induct a limited number of Israeli spike anti-tank guided systems, which will meet the immediate operational requirements till the indigenous man portable systems are ready for induction. The first batch of 210 spike systems with 12 launchers have arrived in India, and this order will be repeated if the indigenous man portable system is not ready by next year. China had recently displayed its latest military platforms, and its DF-17 hypersonic system was the major attraction besides the DF-41 intercontinental ballistic system. The 2,500 km range DF-17 medium-range ballistic system is designed to carry a hypersonic glide vehicle, and it is possible that it can counter latest American ship and ground-based interceptors. The DF-17 can also reach India, and in all possibilities should be able to deceive air defense systems like the S-400. Top experts have said that India will closely observe both Malaysia and Turkey during the upcoming meeting of the Financial Action Task Force on 13 October, as both the countries openly backed Pakistan at the recently concluded United Nations General Assembly, and they are expected to support Pakistan again. The meeting in France will decide whether Pakistan will continue to be in its grey list, or will be downgraded to the black list. We deeply regret that since the 6th of August, there have been repeated statements by the Tur Turkish government, you know, from their foreign ministry, on a matter which is completely internal to India. These statements are factually incorrect, biased and unwarranted. We call upon the government of Turkey to get a proper understanding of the situation on the ground before they make any further uh, statements on this issue.